Good evening, folks, and welcome to Tiki Hut Central, the podcast. I'm your host, Ken Rose, and behind the uh, camera over there on the iPad is Lisa. Say hi to everybody, Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good week so far. There we go. We're looking for a good week. Tonight's a very special episode. We're going to talk uh, with two lovely ladies uh, in the community here. Uh, to my far left, luckily I know my left and my right, is Renee Lowe with Rowe Chiropractic. Um, and oh, there we are on screen there, so you can see what you look like. Great. Um, <laughs> Renee Lowe is, is also known as the Claremont Cyclone. So when there's something going on in Claremont that needs to get done, everybody reaches out to Renee for help. And then to my immediate left is a very special guest. Ms. Kay Simpson from the Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation, and I didn't miss the words on that. Welcome, ladies, to the show. Well, thanks. Thank you. Us. Yes, welcome. So, yeah. We're happy to have you. And we have Renee's husband coaching Renee in the background. Hi, Lloyd. Hi. All right, Lloyd's here too. <laughs> well, uh, let's let's start with uh, Renee with Rowe Chiropractic. Why don't you give uh, Dr. Rowe a little plug? Tell us a little bit about what Dr. Rowe does Absolutely. and where we can find him. So go ahead. Uh, Rowe Family Chiropractic, we are located in downtown Winter Garden, um, 218 West Smith Street. That is behind the brewery in downtown Winter Garden. So we're super close to that. Um, Dr. Matt Rowe has been a chiropractor in the Winter Garden area going on 11 years now. Um, I am proud to say I've been with him 10 of those 11 years. It's been a lot of fun. My job for him takes me out into the community, connecting with um, people, you know, building relationships in the community. So that's what I do. That's how I I uh, came in contact with Miss Kay. Um, of course, I've known Kay for about 25 years now. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. So reconnected with Miss Kay um, when we got back out in the community with Dr. Rose. So it's exciting to be a part of South Lake. And I do love being out there supporting our community. So you, so you met Kay when you both were in high school. That's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, that's, that's, all right. you, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. My high school yeah. days were a long time ago. Well, you know, all of ours were except Lisa's. Uh. <laughs> Funny. Well, welcome to the show. Um, that's, that's a good shout out for Dr. Rowe. And again, he's right behind uh, the crooked can. Yep. So if you're out drinking, you fall down, hurt your back, it's really a stone throw away for Dr. Rowe to take care of you. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> but uh, tonight's episode is really about the Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation and Miss Kay Simpson. And uh, she's been with the foundation since 05, I believe. 2005, yes. Okay, well, why don't you give our, our viewers a little history on the foundation, how it got started, uh, who was involved with it, and where it is today? All right. It was first started in 2004. Phyllis and Vic Hutchinson were our founding board members. They came down to help take care of their sister-in-law that had cancer. And there was no support groups. Their doctors were not a big, they still aren't real big on giving out information and everything. So that's how they got involved. They started with a support group through the first Methodist, yeah, what is it? United Methodist Church? Church, yeah. But I couldn't think of F FMU. Right. Uh, First method. <laughs> I'm going to stop right now. But uh, And that's how it got started. And from there, the foundation grew out of that. Um, it's grown quite a bit. Um, we are right now a board of six. And mm -hmm. we have four, four ambassadors that help us when... There's different events going on, separate things. One ambassador will go with a board member. Well, you know, we, we kind of try to spread ourselves around that so that anything that's happening, we're there. But uh, what the Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation does is we do financial assistance for cancer patients going through treatments and their families. And one of the misconceptions, biggest misconception about the foundation, because we have our Pink Ribbon Lady Support Group, is that we only do breast cancer. We don't. We do all cancers. We do childhood cancer. In fact, it warms my heart this year. We have a scholarship going out to a young man um, that is, a, I guess, recovered. How do you want to say? Remission. He, he, he was a childhood cancer, and he's going off to college, so we're, I'm excited wow. about that. But we do all cancers, and um, at one time, when I first got involved with the foundation, I had a lady come to me, and she goes, do you know of any place that does any assistance because I have the wrong cancer? Because there's all sorts of things out there for breast cancer, but she had thyroid cancer and everything. And it's like, you came to the right spot. We can help you. But uh, so that's what we do. We also do scholarships. Um, we do Christmas families. And this year, with Miss Rithne's help and uh, Christmas across South Lake, we were able to give our holiday families 
extra because they could come and do toys, the toy drive that was uh, held and everything. So yeah, our community works together and that's what we do. So very that, nice. That's pretty amazing. Now, if I remember the holiday families, you, uh, I, I think, weren't you like the chief elf, Renee? <laughs> I was in charge of the Santa shack. The Santa shack, yeah. which, which I, I, from what I understand, I didn't get out there because we I always have many things going on at the shop, but I understand there were like so many gifts yes. that, that you, you were blessed with, with so much from so many people. We, it was unbelievable. We started that mission thinking we were going to provide, um, you know, $50 worth of toys to a thousand kids in South Lake. By Christmas Eve, we had served over 2,500 kids in South Lake with a minimum wow. of a $75 Christmas. We gave away wow. over 175 <laughs> bicycles, wow. um, close to 200 skateboards and scooters. It, it was just unbelievable. There at the end, I, I was to the point of, I'm going to take the tops off my Jeep. I'm going to drive through neighborhoods and just start hurling toys <laughs> because we, you know, we had a registry and every family on that registry was served. I mean, we were wow. happy to say that no family went unserved. Um, and then we even took um, 500 plus toys out to Lincoln Park and another 500 plus toys went to mascot to events that they had on Christmas Eve serving families. So you know, South Lake is awesome. I mean, we put our minds together. For sure. The Thank one thing I remember is we had, I was there helping doing bagging and it was like empty. And I thought, oh my God, what are we going to do? Next time I came, it's just piled up. It was like the donations and everything that came in were just amazing. Yeah. yeah that's, that, that's really remarkable. I, I mean, it, it's, I, I've only been here for 20 years now. So it's amazing to me that, that I, I never meet a stranger. Everybody is 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 a friend, or, or I consider them family. Um, and um, you know, but one of the things I would like to mention um, about um, Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation is uh, my wife Karen was battling breast cancer mm -hmm. at the time, and she didn't know where to turn. Um, you know, she felt we're in our, we're in our own business. We we don't need the support, and the amount of support that she got from Kay Marie. So many people, um, they introduced her to Dr. Al, who was like a godsend because every other doctor just seemed to, uh, she was just another number. Mm -hmm. And the outpouring of support from community members, I think it was um, Darlene Missiano brought her a bag over of, of um, soft clothing, wigs, the whole deal. It was just truly amazing. My and mom said she got wigs from your foundation too when she was battling breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I mean, just... Yeah. Awesome. Just incredible. Now, like, like you mentioned earlier, it, it, GCCF is not just about breast cancer. Nope. All cancers. All cancers. And right now, the sad part, because of COVID, they didn't go to the doctor when they were supposed to. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They might have felt something. Something was off, but they didn't want to go to the hospital. So right now we're dealing with a lot of stage four patients and wow. it just breaks my heart, but you know, it was a result of, you know, COVID right. that did it. It's because everybody was afraid. And for a while, doctor's offices were closed. Right. Mm -hmm. So they weren't even allowed to get treatment and everything. And then so. when they did reopen, they were scheduling people they had to cancel from months right. prior. So it hits so. and we're really seeing it now because I would say probably eight out of 10, every group of 10 of grants that we receive have been a stage four. I just did one this morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, another grant that's stage four. Now, everybody in the South Lake community is, is familiar with Bras for the Cause because that is like the premier event for raising money. And if and if my numbers are correct, I think the first year you did Bras for the Cause, you had like 100 guests at like a, Ham a Hampton Inn and raised 2500 bucks. We were thrilled. We got right? 2500 <laughs> bucks. We thought that we were all that and then some and... Because we weren't even sure Claremont was going to be ready for this event. You know, this is putting people out there in bras and everything. <laughs> and it went off really great. And it has just really grown since then. Well, when you say really grown, um, I, I think the bras for the cause I went to was the 12th annual. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the, the net income was like seventy five, seventy six thousand yeah. $76,000 yeah. from that event. Yeah. Mm. And also all the money raised 
everyone's a volunteer, right? Everyone is a volunteer. All our board members are a volunteer. We don't have a brick and mortar building. We work out of our own home offices. We do everything on the computer. We have a secure website when we put a patient's grant in so we can vote. Uh, I, I was showing somebody today, I can't remember, oh, Erica, um, that I said, rather than everybody get individual cards printed, sorry, Ken. That's uh, all right. We have one card. <laughs> Not that I charge for the printing anyway, but hey. Yeah, you know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but we print out our own stickers to put on the back. So my cards have my information on them because why waste the money on a whole bunch of individual cards? And then, so we do everything we can um, not to spend money on ourselves. Well, we don't spend it on ourselves, but I mean, on for office supplies and things, it all goes back to the community. It just, you know, that's where our heart lies. And that is, we have been approached about why don't you do this and why don't you hire somebody to do that? And it's like that goes against everything that we believe in. Mm -hmm. We believe in being a 100 percent volunteer. We believe in everything going back to the community. And I want everybody to know when they give us a dollar, hundred dollars, thousand dollars, it goes to a cancer family. It in doesn't South go Lake anywhere County. in South. In South. Lake. I think that's you. That's because in South yeah, it's, it's Astatula, Groveland, Claremont, Mascot. Howie, Yalaha, Yalaha, Okahampa, and I think Ferndale, Montverde, yeah. Montverde, Ferndale, Ferndale. Fort yeah. Myers. So, so, so basically, we're Orange County line, we're Polk County line. Oh, don't pay attention to my hands. Well, that, that's we're, okay. You know, uh, <laughs> when you're Italian, the hands are just <laughs> going. You can't communicate Italian. without them. But we're Polk County line, Orange County line. We go Okahampa over, and then down. Uh, the edge of 27, because part of 27 is Leesburg, part of 27 falls in our range. So when I get a Leesburg address, I always ask, give me your address. Let me check to make sure before I go any further. And then if they don't fall in our address, it just breaks my heart when I have to say, no, I'm sorry, you're out of our area. But, mm. you know, and then they go, do you have anybody else around here that does that? And I said, not that I know of. There's very few foundations out there. I mean, there's Jimmy Crabtree. There's uh, Team Gina. I think it's called Team Gina for breast cancer, moms with breast cancer and mm -hmm. children. But there's very few out there that do financial assistance. They're all great of, you know, we'll do research, but they don't do anything to actually help a patient. Right. You know, they may have a gift card or a uh, gas card. In case, but you, most of the time, anybody I've talked to, they've run out. They never get the gas cards. They're, well, we've used up our monthly quota. So we don't, we've never turned away a patient unless they're out of our area. Right. And it's, and, and it's not like they, they have to wait such a long time that the, the, the support is almost instantaneous. They fill out their application online, they get submitted, and then uh, you make those decisions. So, yep. But, but, you know, it, it wouldn't be what it is if you weren't out on the street every day and Marie's not out there in the community and doing a lot of different community things. And like I said earlier, I mean, Bras for the Cause is, is the big event. But I, th I think it was in 18, I played at the tennis GCCF tennis tournament. tennis tournament, which I didn't, I didn't realize, you know, because I'm, I'm kind of a young guy. <laughs> but those retired guys are like unbelievably great. I mean, I mean, my brother and I got destroyed on, on the tennis court, but it was for a great cause and, and we, we raised money. And so it, it was huge. So right. that's another event. What are some other events um, that uh, GCCF does? Well, Bras for the Cause is the main one. We've had our tennis tournament and I want to say it started before 204 so i want to say our first one was like 203 wow before 204 to get us started but uh and then we have had um well until they shut down but uh we had the pink bike run for the last two years uh you remember that lisa right stormy Hill. what's up yeah we, we, we did the pink bike run oh yeah we, we were the lead yeah. bike we were yeah. the lead bike yeah. on that yeah. weren't we yeah yeah at stormy hill we've had those we've that had, was a lot of fun yeah. it was and then um Oh, we have different golf ladies at Kings Ridge. They have two different little um, clubs. I don't know, what's it called? Leagues? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't golf. I'm sorry. Well, but they okay. hold fundraisers for us and things like that. But actually, the ones that the foundation does has been bras for the cause and the tennis. And then we just rely on other community people. And this year is when... 
Miss Tornado Renee. That's it. <laughs> calls me up. I can't remember if it was nighttime or early morning, but I get this phone call and she goes, what do you think? And I went, yeah. So, and she yeah. jumped on board and has gone full steam ahead on this uh, Boots and Bunnies. You know, she does that to me all the time too. She's like, hey, Ken. <laughs> I hate to bother you, but but I've got this idea, and and you know it's it's gonna be like a flyer. We're gonna kind of do this event, blah blah blah. And 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 then she relies on me to create it, and I and I have no details. It's like I I'm winging it, but I kind of we're telepathically connected, and and we get it done. So it's just it's wacky. I love how I can go. It's gonna have this, and it looks like this. And can't you imagine this? And you always pull it off. I always, so it's like it's a rabbit awesome. out of a hat. You, yeah. Rabbits yeah. Or, or, or bunnies. We're all bunnies tonight. Bunnies. tonight. You can pull the bunny ears out, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I know everybody's probably wondering why we have our bunny ears on, but I want to bring up one other thing real quickly because um, uh, we're all members of the South Lake Business Leaders. Yes. And, and and I know through GCCF, um, Lily, yes. uh, a young girl, battled cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kiwanis did a uh, memory bench. And I, and I do understand that her brother, Victor, is baking, yes. right? He's, he's doing baked goods with his mom, and they're raising money. COVID kind of slowed that COVID down. COVID slowed it down, of course. Yeah. And, and, so, um, and, and they have events, and the money that they raise, that they donate to a family, donate to the next that family. Has children with cancer. Right. So yeah. I was thinking, and, and again, it's off the cuff, South Lake business leaders, wouldn't it be great to honor this guy and welcome him to the South Lake business leaders with a plaque or an award as a business leader Absolutely. out there banging away, doing good for the community. Right? Um, I'm actually having uh, his mom is coming to our Kiwanis Club meeting in the morning. Well, there you go. So oh, I'm just yeah, giving you the segue there for that. You go. Yeah, because we have um, we're working on another park project that um, will take place at Kiwanis Park, which is where the South Lake business leaders created the park bench right. um, and the the art sculpture that's there is something Lily actually created. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty cool. So we're we're meeting up tomorrow. So I might have to let her know we have an opening for a baker in the South. <laughs> there you go. I think, <laughs> I like, I think awesome. that would be sweet. You I can like give them a plaque and the whole deal. Yeah, no, no, very cool. To do that. All right. Now, now to get into the bunny ears. Uh, I know we've got a lot going on this month. Um, and, and, and I, and I, I know that the girls over at Little Anthony's are doing a big event. So why don't you tell us about the big event? I understand it's free beer if you pay a twenty dollars admission too. Right, Absolutely. Lloyd, you hear that? That's twenty that. bucks free beer for the whole event. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, it's called Sips and Sods, and Debbie Flynn and Pam Severs from uh, the Mineola. I keep looking. At the city of Mineola. The city of Mineola are putting it on with Hi, the of Little Anthony's, <laughs> and for twenty dollars you get unlimited beer or wine. And I'm not sure. I think it's chips and salsa, limited menu, something else is going on. But they've got they've got music, entertainment. They've got uh, raffle baskets and things, and it's from one to four. So come out, support them, and once again, 100% of the proceeds go to the foundation. And I am just so thankful for all the community support that is going on right now. It's just it's. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's cool. Kay is very blessed. Another event that's taking place um, to support GCCF also um, is another networking group, Solutions Networking, that meets um, here in town. And they're hosting the Mother's Day fashion show. Oh, that's right. That's on over at Gabby's on May 8th. 8th. May 8th. From 11 to 1 or something? I believe so, 11 to 1. I think they have a few tickets available. There's mm -hmm. not a lot left. Um, so if you want to go to that, definitely go. It is going to be phenomenal. They have a lot of um, high-profile individuals that will be modeling oh, I bet. some fabulous wear <laughs> um, on on stage. So it, it is going to be a lot of fun. Um, Dave Hilton over at Hilton Mall is hitting that one up. So if you want tickets for that, get them right away. I think you can just go right right to the office there, and they've right. got the tickets right there. You yep. can get them right there. Yep, you can purchase them right there. But those um, funds raised at that event are also going to support GCC. Right. So fantastic. I, I like like I said earlier, you know, Renee is everywhere doing everything. So I mean, you know, God bless you. I mean, you know, you just you. you just God kick ass Lloyd. out there. Well, yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. Lloyd puts up with it. You know, she even answered her phone that late that night when you asked her about. My back killing me, my neck. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, you, you know, I'm, I mean, Renee does so so much good for the community, and she actually does have a regular job. <laughs> and and then Lisa had had severe I had like a pinch nerve, pinch nerve, back pain, and I was and she's going to these chiropractors. I'm like, 
doctor of upper cervical care, you have an upper cervical problem. And, and I don't know what time it was, Renee, but I texted Renee. And, she, and, and within minutes, she said, yep, you get her in tomorrow, just come on in and we'll take care of her. And so uh, Lisa's been a patient there. And then well, I was just in there, too, because the I, got, I got problems, too, you know, yeah, well, I, mental I, problems and, and <laughs> physical. So, I mean, it's, it's a mess. I just got him struggling getting out of the uh, picnic table at Tiki Bar. And yeah. I like, he needs to go see a chiropractor, you know. So I'll, I'll be in there Monday morning, bright and early at eight. Yeah, so um, nice. let's let's talk about these cute bunny ears. What's going on with these bunny ears? <laughs> Who, who's who's going first? Oh, Renee. I guess You're up. There's so much I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, everything is secretive around here. Oh, yeah. It's like a secret society. So last year we had this funny party because um, Bras for the Cause, each model has their own little fundraising thing. Right. So to support a model, we threw a bunny review just to be silly and fun. And we really wanted to share with the models that we know, you know, it's kind of scary. It's intimidating to get up on this, you know, really formal stage and they're walking in these bras. And, you know, some of them are a little worried about dancing or having the moves or whatever it takes. So we thought, let's just throw a funny bunny dance show and show them <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can dance or not. Just get up and have a good time. We're going to raise some money. So that <laughs> little event with 100 people, it was just a little South Lake business right. leader event surprised ourselves we raised five thousand dollars wow at that little event wow so, well that was either because dave colby was in a bunny suit or chuck gainsford was wearing no pants i think yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> so, it was one, one of those. that is my takeaway memory next year Let's chuck gainsford in boxers dancing across the city chuck gainsford was hilarious because we had this 80s dance team right he was the only guy on our team and we kept saying chuck do we need to order you a costume you know what do we need to get <laughs> He's like, you're, you're just thinking like the Richard Simmons look, right? And we're like, well, whatever. We'll help you get a costume, whatever you need. He's like, I, I, I can figure this out. I can figure this out. <laughs> he showed up that night with costume. When I tell you it was authentic, I believe it was from 1978. <laughs> it was original. It was probably right and from it his own all closet. All came out of his dressers. <laughs> yes, he hit right from the tube socks to the short shorts to the the tank top. Oh, oh wow! In it to wear a tank top. Oh, the God. wristbands. He had it all. He had it all. Yeah, yeah. He was. <laughs> He, he knew what he was up to, but he won Best Dancer and Best Costume. So. Well, I understand that this year the competition's even more. Everybody's really <sighs> gunning. Everybody's gunning, yeah. So when we found out that um, Bras was going to be canceled for the second year, um, we knew that as a community we were going to have to step up. And, you know, because we know that Bras for the Cause makes about 70 plus thousand dollars every year, and 100% of that goes back in our community. So the first year, you know, COVID hit, we were like, okay, we can be fun. We can cover it. Well, the second year rolled around, we're like, whoa, we've really got to do something. Um, so we thought, let's bring back the bunny review. Only this time, let's step it up a little bit. So we added boots and bunnies because. Well, you, you didn't step this up a little bit, Renee. I mean, this is like a full on <laughs> major a event. Yes, it is. It is going to be a major It's going to be a blast. And we have some. So this is something that hasn't come out yet. So I'm going to release it tonight. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So we have the dance team lineup. Nobody knows who's going to be on stage. So I'm going to share that with you really quick. So if you're not watching the show now, you're not going to be able to listen to it until it replays later on. That's right. You're not going to know um, who our dance teams are. So starting off the night, we're going to have rock star Waylon with the mass dancers. And the mass dancers are some pretty... Uh, pretty important people here in our community and <laughs> you're going to have to try to figure out who those mass dancers are just by looking at their dance moves. So that'll be exciting. Nice. <laughs> we have the uh, Royal empires coming out um, with some of their horse training team. That's going to be putting on oh, a wow. good show. That's going to be good. Uh, the chase animal rescues coming out with a group of lemurs that are going to be put <laughs> on a dance routine and coming back from last year who took second in the lead and, we all know they put on a really good show is Claremont police department led by chief Chuck Broadway and One and only. Be on stage. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, we also have um, all the ladies from the meets and bounds title company. So they're going to be a lot of fun. The fabulous flockers will be making a debut <laughs> and we're going to round out the evening with some pretty talented um, showmanship by the groveland police department so it's game on because there's a little you know they didn't get to participate last year um so they're really stepping it up and coming out this year i'm 
been sworn to secrecy unless I want to be locked up for the evening. <laughs> I'm not allowed to share any of the things they're bringing. But I'm telling you, if you don't come to the show, you are definitely going to be missing out. For, now, will for people be able to vote on these guys? You know, last year we did that. We had a competition between the teams mm -hmm. um, and, you know, best team won. And, and so that made it a lot of fun. However, this year we are not going to have team competition. And the reason we're not having team competition is because we're really, you know, the team that needs to win this year is GCCF. So everybody's bringing their best <laughs> game show. Everybody's going to raise, you know, the most dollars for their team. And as usual, 100% of that's going to GCCF. So we're not going to have team competition. There are going to be some fun things going on out there, though. We do have a best boots contest. And that's going to be open to anyone that's attending. And our uh, prize winner, Chuck Gainsford, who wins everything in this town. He won today, <laughs> mind you. We went to lunch today. Chuck won. Right? I, who's printing his cards? I want that material. Chuck. Well, you, you know what? Uh, what? What's funny is is that he does seem to always win. And 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 you, and you had said at the business leaders meeting, just rub up against them. Yeah. And I rubbed up against him. I, I in fact, it was the grand opening of Denise Calderon's office. Oh. I rubbed up against him, and I won twice. Yeah. So, I mean, just like that. Yeah, and it was nothing intimate. Day. It was just kind of, hey, Chuck, how are you doing, baby? <laughs> That's all it is. And, and, I, and, I, and I won twice. That's so, I mean, it's pretty exciting. It's, uh, Chuck's a winner. So, because he won last year and he wins everything. So, we told him he gets to be the best boot contest judge. Oh, that's good. Keep and him out of the competition. Have, yeah, yeah. Thank God. We have a really uh, amazing uh, best boot prize sponsor. Um, the Wheatley Group, uh, Realtor Group, is sponsoring that prize. So that's a pretty nice prize. And anyone wearing boots that night will be able to participate. Chuck will go through and pick out his top 10 or 15 boots in the crowd that he likes. And then they'll get invited to come up on the stage and they'll do a little runway walk and the best pair of boots he will mm. choose nice. a winner for. So that's a. a that's interesting because. That night too. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to be in the running because he needs some business cards done. So maybe I'll have to grease his palm <laughs> to check out my boots. We'll have to see how that goes. So um, I, I understand there's a lot of prizes. Lots. Well, here, here, here. Let's, 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 let's talk about how people can come to the show, okay. what the cost is, uh, and when it is. We don't even know when it is. And where it's located. And where it's located. The Boots and Bunny Review will be Saturday, May 1st. It is from 6 to 10. It will be out at the Lake Catherine Blueberry Farm. Uh, that is located off 19 in Groveland. Um, tickets are available through Facebook on the Lake Catherine site. Uh, we also have a link for that, which I think you're going to share somewhere during the show. Well, well I don't know if I'll share. You know what? When, when when I repost the show tomorrow morning, I will I'll, I'll have the uh, QR code link, so okay. you can go tomorrow morning, click in, get your tickets. Yep. Um, can they get tickets at gccf.us or you can okay. just make sure you fill in the note thing the, so I know where the what the money's for so I could send that info out to them where the tickets are going. You can get tickets are thirty dollars for mm -hmm. an individual ticket. Um, that includes dinner. Uh, Carabas is catering dinner and they're cooking on site. Ooh, yeah, nice. fabulous! Wow. Yeah. Um, we have some executive dirt desserts that are going to be coming in. So lots of different really yummy stuff for that. Um, thirty dollars a ticket. However, your best deal is to purchase a VIP table. It's three hundred dollars for the table. It gets you a high top table and a bar stool, four bar stools. It includes four tickets. Come with that dinner. You know everything is included. The reason you want the table is imagine an open bar area, all this exciting stuff going on, and you're walking around holding all of your things. So, um, if you get some friends together, purchase a table doesn't mean you can only have four people at your right. table. It just means you have four stools at your table. And keep in mind, it is, is a bar top table. We have quite a few people that are purchasing a table and then additional tickets so their group can hang together. You just want to have somewhere to, to locate. To so. put your drink down. Put your drink down. Yeah, Lisa and I are actually bringing dates. Um, we've we've nice. got both of our moms are coming. So <laughs> yeah, uh, awesome. we're going to get them out of the house and again, let, let them see. Some, hopefully My they'll see Chuck in boxers so again. Far. So yeah. yeah, your mom was like right across the street. She can <laughs> she probably does. just skateboard over. <laughs> We're just in the golf cart to pick her up. Uh, yeah, so lots of good stuff. And we do have some exciting raffles going on. Um, there is Some you have to be there, though, right? Yes. Gotta yes. Be there to win there. You got to be there to win. Now, there is the Yeti Cooler raffle. Um, a lot of you have already purchased tickets to that. Uh, we were out bunny bar hopping last weekend, selling <laughs> raffle yes. tickets to that. That was quite fun. Um, but you can buy the, one of those raffle tickets. I think they're one for 26 for 100. It's mm -hmm. a Yeti cooler, and it is filled with $1,000 worth of top shelf liquor. 
Um, if you'd wow. like to catch a look at that, it is posted on the South Lake Business Leaders Facebook page. Um, you can also get to the tickets from the South Lake Business Leaders Facebook okay. page. Also. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a good place to go if you want to get tickets right now. Um, those tickets you can buy in advance and you don't have to be present to win. However, you do have to show up to lug that stuff out of there because we are not delivering. Well, we can just <laughs> drink it if nobody shows up. If you don't show up, it seems like drink, Friday right? night. I <laughs> made a few premises of delivery. Oh, boy. Um, it's like, you buy tickets, give me a hundred bucks, I'll deliver it there to you. you. Go, there you go. Um, the other really cool, exciting raffle we're going to have going on, and you do have to be present to mm -hmm. win, is going to be the guns and ammo raffle. Um, you <laughs> and, and since nobody can find any ammunition, this may be your event to finally get some ammo. Absolutely, absolutely. So who's who's uh, donating the guns? Do we, do we have somebody that doing coming that? Coming from um, our pawn shop and Mineola family. Uh, family pawn. Oh, family pawn. Mineola, yep. Oh, fantastic. So we have three handguns, a shotgun, and a bundle of ammo. And the way it'll work is we'll crack a fifty-two card deck. It's twenty-five dollars a card. When those cards are all sold out, boom, it shuts down. We'll draw and give away first card. Uh, the first deck that we go through, that person will get first pick of any of those five. And then when we cross one off, we'll keep going. Wow. Just to get away that night. That's yeah. sweet. That's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot. Tickets are $25 a piece. 25 a piece. And you have to be present to buy and you have to be present to win. And you have to be 21. And, and you and don't go home with the gun. You got to go fill out your paperwork and wait your time. But, but the gun correct. will be there that night. You will be able to view them. Uh, we have a gun master that's going to be on site. So he'll be able to explain all of those, you know, gun parts, pieces, everything you need to know, want to know about them. Um, they'll be on site. So you will be able to display it and see what you're actually winning. You just won't be able to leave with it that night. And, and it's really just, it's it's a one in 52 chance. So, I mean, that's that's pretty good odds. I mean, the lotto is like one in a billion. Yeah, so, no, right. one in 52. You know. one, and we'll have five five rounds. We'll be able to run five rounds that night. Wow. So yeah, so it's right. going to be big, big, big. Yeah. What else we got going on there that night? We got, uh, we got some music, right? We got dancing. We got... Yeah, Rhinestone Ricky is going to be DJing for us that night. Um Pretty exciting stuff. Some of you guys know that guy. I think his name's Kenny Chesney. He's the famous guy. Gets around. <laughs> um, his concert was canceled. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, well, Kenny so Chesney's not going to do a show then. He's not going to be at our show or anybody else's show that week. Um, mm. But we did um, finagle some guys that are really connected with him that are going to help us with some of our sound and light shows. So when we tell you we're banging this thing out of the park, nice. we're going all out, going all out. So it's going to be a blast. Yeah. So, Kay, are you dancing with a dance team or are you? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> I was embarrassed when I danced at the Elks and then I saw the video and I was like, oh my God, who videoed me? <laughs> Nobody likes to see themselves on video yeah. dancing, no. dancing or, or singing. She, she is going to be supporting. Uh, yeah, she's going to have some boots and bunny ears on, though. I will and have my boots. I ordered her, my boots today boots and out, my yeah. bunny ears. I yeah. will be there but I will not be on stage dancing. She'll be on stage. To I'll be there. Dancing. I'm just not dancing. Do we have an MC for the show? or? Uh, we do have an MC. That's going to be Ryan Stone. Ricky. Oh, oh, okay. So he's going to take care of the music, yep, MC, the whole deal. Music. Um, we'll have dancing, you know, open to everyone mm -hmm. else outside of the stage show as well. So there'll be, you know, a lot of music and fun. And it's just going to be an upbeat night. Right. So it'll be that, a great night. Yeah. That, that's a week from this Saturday. So you want to get your tickets now because they're selling quick. And, and you know, once they're gone, that's it. Because I, I think they're limiting certain number on we're the farm. We're only putting out uh, 50 VIP tables. Uh, more than half of those have already sold. So wow. If you're thinking that you want to have a table and somewhere to land, you're going to want to jump on and grab those quickly. Um, after that, it'll just be individual tickets. Right. And that's a sweet deal. It's 300 bucks. So you're, you're paying 30 bucks a head. So it's 120 just to get in for four of you. Mm -hmm. So the table's really costing you about 180 bucks. And then you have a place for your ass to sit and a place for your food to rest. <laughs> and you can bring all your friends. And you bring all your friends. Your friends so friends you again. can have your friends buy your drinks since you're sharing your table. And then, then you'll be able to drink free. There you go. You can sit here. Right. Yeah. Our table. yeah. That, that's exactly right. And there'll be, an, there'll be open cash bar. There is open cash bar. Yep. And, and, it, and if, a raffle. And a raffle. Yep. And I believe, I, I don't want to say it, but, but isn't Lake Catherine making a donation? Well, Lake Catherine is donating the facility the right. to that. Um, here's something really cool about this. Normally, when we put events on in town, there's an overhead cost. You know, we got to pay a little bit here sure. and there um, to do that. But, you know, South Lake Business Leaders really went all out with this one. Um, we have clout. 
We do. <laughs> we have some pull in this town. Everybody we just have pulled every up. string and used up a lot of different flavors in this town for this <laughs> event. But I am excited to say this event is costing GCCF zero dollars to host this event. So when we say 100% of everything for this event is going back into our community, it's 100% down to, let me just get my little list out here uh -oh. so I don't leave anybody out of here. Um, Melvin Davis out at Groveland Liquor uh, has graciously donated and will be our bar sponsor um, all of the top shelf liquor that will be sold from the bar. So 100% nice. of the cash from the bar will wow. go to GCCF. Uh, Carabas is donating 100% um, of all the food, all the on-site service that is all being donated um, to them. And then uh, Mike with Tacoma Law has donated. He is going to be the stage sponsor. So he's coming in covering some of the extra lighting and things that we're having to, to really step this out. Um, and then we have, you know, the pawn shop, Family Pond and Mineola stepping up. The, the first uh, gun or ammo, whatever they choose in that raffle, is 100% donated. They're giving that straight off the top. After that, it will be... Um, you know, once that is paid for, then 100% of that goes. Every raffle basket has been donated. That cooler with $1,000 worth of liquor in it, um, those bottles of liquor, top shelf, were all donated by individual South Lake business. Elaine leaders. Skates is the yep. one that purchased the Eileen, yep. And she was working on the she Yeti. She was able to get the Yeti. I think we got the, she got the Yeti donated too, I do believe. So, now, well, no. if she did, I didn't know about it. Yes. She, paid, she paid the check and I picked it up. Wow. Yeah. So, um, well, Eileen donated it. So yeah, we donated. Eileen so donated. There's been it. no cost for this event at all, right down to you know Minuteman Press. You know, you've done all of our printing and all of our stuff, Chick Fil A and all of our restaurants, um, Little Anthony's Pizza, Buffalo Wild Wings, Texas Roadhouse. Um, they're all you know putting out flyers and all your to-go boxes. That starts tonight. So if you guys are eating out in restaurants, you're going to see. Boots and Bunny Flyer coming through uh, your to-go bags. Make sure you're reading that and, and supporting. And if you can't make the event, I know there's some proms going on. People are having graduation parties. Those things are happening in the community. Um, you can always make a donation on that site, too. So even if you can't attend the event, um, help us support GCCF and keep this stuff coming in our community. It's important. And then a big thank you to Lake Catherine's. Yes. Just couldn't do it without her venue Absolutely. because... That's why we're not having bras. We get get into the performing arts center, yes. right? Well, I think I, I think that it's great that, that businesses support GCCF. Uh, they support all kinds of events in our town. It's our town. It, it is. is. It really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. It's, it's not this town. It's our town. We live here. We play here. Um, we we socialize here. One of the big things is that every sponsor for any event never expects anything. Back. They are just more than happy to do it. So the only thing that I would like to say to our audience is take a look at the sponsors that have supported us uh, and support them. Just stop in. You, you know, I mean, if, if you need to buy a bottle of wine or, or a six pack of beer or, or a bottle of booze, you know, if it's an extra trip to Groveland, just stop by. Yeah. Pick up a bottle and say thanks for what you do for the community. Absolutely. With South Lake business leaders, Whenever we have our big annual event and we ask, we go around, I don't because I'm, I'm doing a million other things that Renee has me doing, <laughs> but many of the business leaders go around to restaurants and ask them to donate food for, for our big annual um, chamber event. And so as business leaders, what we do in turn is we go and buy gift cards yeah. to donate and we buy those gift cards from those restaurants that gave to us. So everything in this town works hand in hand. Everyone supports each other, and and it's 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 magical. It's it's oh shit! I just lost my ears. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I I'm sure I can find another pair real soon. But um, so we've got Little Anthony's, yep. April 24th, yep. which is this Saturday. Yes. Go see Pam and and Debbie Flynn. They are a riot, and and I think they're they're, they're, they're serving right. I don't know if they're serving. Oh, okay. we're, we're out in the backyard. Okay, okay. we'll I'm be in the backyard then again. The backyard. All right. They'll be on the move, I'm quite sure. But <laughs> but those two ladies also, they're always willing to step up and volunteer right. for the community. Um, I've, I've known Debbie personally. I've known Pam personally. I mean, just uh, more great ladies in this community. Um, Marina and Kelly uh, have owned Little Anthony since 
Well, well, probably almost 20 years. Of it. Actually, they used to live across the street from me in, in the I first home I moved to. at Little Anthony's when the kids were When little. you were in high school. No, no not in high school. <laughs> but the kids were all little. And, mm -hmm. you know, Lloyd worked full time. And I, you know, had the day job. And then on the weekends, the kids were there. So I would go on Sundays was my day. And I would go work at Little Anthony's on Sundays. It was great. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. And they have the best tables. It. Every table yeah. has a theme. And it's I love just super cool. There. Yeah, I'm, I've made a lot of relationships from, from there that people well, still talk that, to. That was actually my son's first job. Before he got his driver's license, they said when he gets his driver's license, he can deliver pizzas. Yep. And that was his first job delivering pizzas for them. Right. So good story. Yeah. Good well, ladies. again, uh, like we said earlier, uh, we've got these two big events. You can either come to the events or you can donate. Go to gccf.us, make a donation. You can go to um, the South Lake Business Leaders Facebook page. Yep. Uh, GCCF has a Facebook page, and it is facebook.com slash GCCF. You can go there, see what upcoming events they have. And I know how hard these two ladies work, and they're always looking for volunteers. Um, with Renee, you want to be cautious because if you <laughs> volunteer once with Renee, <laughs> it's like you've gone to prison because you're going to volunteer every <laughs> damn event. You know, the neighbor's rabbit died, and they've got a processional of 100 cars. <laughs> Renee's going to lead that processional. Uh, that's, just, that's just who she yeah, is. I'm just you know. get you to do it, Ken. Well, yeah, they'll get my ass out there, too. Uh, and you're do donating the rabbit's funeral <laughs> uh, booklets. Well, I, I, I actually prevented a funeral this, this past Saturday, so that was, that was good, too. Oh, so, the kitty cat. Yeah, so I saved oh. a kitty cat. And I don't like cats, but I, but I had a rescue one stuck between two fences. So. Oh. oh, good for you. Oh. Now I love you even more. <laughs> but, but, but you know what was funny was was, was was I'm out and back, and I'm in the pool, and I was debating, you know, should I put the Speedo on because I'm, I'm at home, nobody's here, or, or, <laughs> or my regular board shorts. And so I, I put my board shorts on, luckily. Yes. We're so, board so, shorts so, Thank tonight, God, right? Saying. Thank God. So... So I'm I'm vacuuming the pool and I and I, and I go over to the to the fence and I hear this cat's crying mm. and I'm like oh oh my god I hate cats but I can't have this cat die over here so so of course I'm in my shorts only and I've got a shovel and I'm knocking on the neighbor's door can you let me in I, I need to dig up your backyard there's a cat back there <laughs> the little kid that answered the door must have panicked and said oh my god there's a homeless guy <laughs> at my door with a shovel you know <laughs> but uh, anyway that that was that was my rescue story um but again what else what else do we have ladies. Boots and bunnies. Boots, boots and, and bunnies. bunnies. Boots and bunnies. Boots and bunnies. And then the tea. The yeah. tea's the mild one of all of them. It's like, <laughs> it's the finale, <laughs> and it's the mild one. Yep. Now, um, Katie, are there any events planned for later this year yet, or are we still kind of watching what We're the COVID thing does? We're still up in and, the air because right. tennis tournament was at Summit Greens, right. and they shut down any outside people mm -hmm. coming in. But as soon, I will let you so you can come get your butt kicked. Well, in. i got to get practice first. <laughs> you know, boy, oh, boy, I just beat but, my ass. Yeah, no, right now, we're just on hold. We're okay. just on hold. But as I said, we've been blessed with so much community support with like the bugs, the bugs and bunnies. <laughs> bugs and bunnies. Well, there'll be bugs out there, I'm sure. Uh, um, Boots and bunnies. And Jamie will have bug spray. spray and, and, yeah, bring bug spray to the and suds and the tennis and tournaments or the golf tournaments and everything. So all these individual fundraisers, you know, and some people, my my poor ladies from Kings Ridge actually said, we're embarrassed. This is not as much. I said, sweetheart. Every little bit goes to a family. We are so grateful for every little bit. We appreciate it. So, you know, if you, all you've got is five bucks, we'll take it. And we're very happy for it because, you know, those five bucks adds up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, five bucks and you know, 20 people do that. You have now a hundred bucks. So, I mean, it, it, and it goes, it goes right back into the community like everything yes, else that, that these ladies do. Uh, I'd like to thank you ladies for coming in tonight. I appreciate all that you do because I know it's just, it's amazing the effort that you put forth and thank goodness the community is right there and they're like, right. let's yeah. boogie. Yes. Thank you for everything. Well, I think, you know, we do what we do because we live in an amazing community. We, and yeah. so it's awesome to love back on the community that loves us. So right. absolutely yeah. love you guys. Well, thanks again, ladies for coming in and we'll see you next time on Tiki hut central. Lisa, check us out. We're going to hop right in. Peace. <laughs> Peace out. We all.